today we are going to learn how to turn lines into shapes. And we're going to use our lines and our shapes to make birds. So we're going to start right in the middle of our paper and we are going to draw a bird using lines and shapes. So we're going to start with a line right in the middle of our paper and we're going to curve that line around, around, that line's still curving, keep curving that line, it's going to keep curving back up, it's still a line, it's still a line, still a line, and pow! We turn that line into a shape. So now we have a shape. This shape is a circle. We use one line and when the beginning of the line and the end of the line meet, it made a shape. So now we're going to use our circle shape for one bird. But we don't want just one bird. We want three birds. So now I'm going to go over to the other side and I'm going to make another curvy line that turns into a circle shape. But I want to make sure that when I make this line and turn it into a circle shape that it doesn't hit this line at all. Okay? So we're going to start, this one's a little lower than the other one. It's going to be down here a little bit. And we're going to start by curving our line. Curving, 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 curving. And pow! Our line turned into a shape. I want you to notice that there's space between my line, my circle, and the edge of my paper. We don't want to draw right by the edge of the paper for this assignment because these are going to be used for something later on. If we draw too close to the edge, it might cut off part of our picture. So I have a space there. And then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to use lines to create a shape again. So I'm going to take and I'm going to start at the top Again, this one's going to be just a little lower than that first one. And I'm going to go around and around and around. Keep going with that line. Keep going with that line around and around. I'm making sure I don't hit the edge. Around and that line's going to touch and pow! It's a shape. So now we have three shapes on our paper. We started out with three different lines and we made them into three shapes. We made the beginning of the line go all the way around and meet the end of the line and that made our shape. So now we have three circles and we need to turn those three circles into three birds. We're going to use some more shapes to make our circles into birds. So in the middle of this circle we're going to start by drawing a line that goes straight across. It's just going to be a short little line right in the middle. See that? Just a short little line. And then we're going to use two more lines. We're going to add two lines to this line to make a shape. Let's see what shape we'll make. This line is going to go down and it's going to angle over. It's a little tricky, so watch carefully. It's going to angle over. And then I'm going to take an angle back up, just like a V, like a V shaped line and it's going to go right up and touch the other line and pow! We made a shape. So now we have a circle shape with a triangle shape inside of it. We need to make some more shapes to finish our bird. So the next thing we're going to do to finish this bird is we're going to make a curved line that turns into a circle just like we did for the body. But these ones are going to be smaller because we can make our shapes whatever size we want. So for this, for these circles, we're going to make them smaller. So we're going to start just above this corner and we're going to start and make a curved line and it's going to come all the way around and pow! Made a shape. And we're going to do the same thing right over here. We're going to go curved line all the way around and pow! Made a shape. So now we have a big circle two little circles and a triangle for our bird. 
but our bird's eyeballs don't look quite right, do they? So we're going to add more shapes. Can you believe it? More shapes. So we are going to take inside these little circles, we're going to add even smaller circles. So we're going to start with our line and curve it all the way around. Pow! Check it out. We just made an eyeball. We're going to do the same thing inside this one. A little line, curve it all the way around and pow! There's another shape. So we made lots of lines and turned them into lots of shapes to make the face of our bird. Now this time we're going to use some lines inside for designs. We're going to make wings for our bird. So we're going to start right up here and make a curved line that comes down and touches here. That's going to be one wing. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to start up here, curved line down that touches here, and boom. We have two wings on our bird. The last thing we're going to do on this bird is make a little tummy. So we're going to take and just do a curved line like this. Nice little curved line. We've got a little tummy on our bird. Alright, so we have the circles and we have the triangle for the beak. We've got the two eyeballs. We've got our wings and we've got our tummy. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to stop on this bird because we can do more on this bird, but we're going to wait. I'm not going to do any more on this bird right now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this bird over here. For this bird, we are going to make a beak, but this bird is going to be talking to this big fat bird in the middle. So we're going to draw our triangles on the side of the bird because it's going to be looking sideways. So instead of drawing the triangle inside like this one, we're going to draw it on the side. So we're going to start right here and we're going to do a line out and then a line back to the circle. See how it makes that nice point on the end? And then we're going to do the same thing below it because this bird's going to be talking to this bird. So we're going to do another one right where that one ended. We're going to keep it connected and we're going to go out and down and pow! We have two shapes attached to our big circle. We have two triangles to make the mouth on that bird. To make the wing on this bird, we are going to do it a little bit different than we did on this one because we're looking at it from the side. For this one, we are going to make a semicircle. A semicircle is like half of a circle. So we're going to draw a straight line, but it's going to go on an angle like this. Okay? So let's draw a straight line on an angle, just like that. And then we're going to make a curved line to connect the two ends. So we're going to make a curved line and pow! We made a shape. We made a semicircle, half of a circle. The next thing we're going to do is make an eyeball for this bird. So on this bird, we need to do a circle. So we're going to make that curved line go all the way around, a nice little curved line all the way around and pow! Turn that line into a shape. Then we're going to do the same thing right inside of it, just like we did for this one. We're going to do a nice curved line all the way around, and pow! We made an eyeball on our bird. Now this bird is turned sideways, so we will be able to see the tail on this bird. So we want to make a tail on the side over here. So for the tail, we're going to make an angled line up, just like that. And then we're going to make zigzag lines down zigzag so it looks like he's got tail feathers sticking out. See how we got those zigzag lines? And then that last line we're going to keep going all the way till it hits the circle. And now we've got a tail on our bird. So we're going to stop with this bird now and we're going to move over to the next bird. So on this bird we're going to make this one looking sideways too. He's going to be talking to the other bird just like we did over here. So we're going to start with a triangle on the side of the circle. So we're going to start right here, draw a line out, a line down, and pow! We've got a triangle. And we're going to do the same thing right below it so he's talking to that other bird. It's going to start at the same spot that this one ended. Goes out 
and back down and pow! We have another triangle. So now we have his beak. We need to make his wings. And we're going to make another semicircle. So we're going to start with a straight line. It's going to come from up here down to here. So it's going to be straight but on an angle just like that. And then we're going to make a curved line to connect them and make our shape. So we're going to do a curved line and pow! We made a shape. The shape is a semicircle. So now we have the wing, we have the beaks, we need the eyeball. So when we're making this eyeball, we're going to draw a circle. So we start with our curved line. Start at the top, a nice little curved line all the way around, and pow! Our line turned into a circle, into a shape. We're going to do another one right inside of here. We're going to start with a little curved line, and pow! Our little line turned into a circle. So now we have an eyeball, and a beak, and a wing. We are missing a tail. So we're going to make a tail on this side. We're going to do an angle line that points up a little, just like that. Then we're going to do a zigzag, 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 and bring it down to touch the bird, touch his stomach, or his back. So now we have all three of our birds with their beaks and their wings. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the bird's feet. But before we draw their feet, we need to know where their feet are going to end. So we're going to draw a branch underneath our bird. So it can go from all the way from one side of the paper all the way to the other. And if you want to, you can make the, the branch curve a little bit. But just make sure it doesn't touch your birds at all. So keep going all the way across from one side of the paper all the way to the other all the way to the end. But our branch isn't just one line. It's taller than that. It's thick. So we need to draw another line that goes the same, just like that. Follows right along underneath it. All the way across our paper, we have two lines that go all the way across our paper. So now we have a branch for our birds to sit on. The only thing left to do is add their feet. So our bird's feet are going to be lines. So we're going to start with the middle bird. and We're going to draw a line that goes all the way down and across the branch, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side right here. All the way down and across the branch. We have two legs and this is going to be one of his toes. So now we need to make his other toes. We've got another toe that comes out on an angle just like this. Angled line. And we're going to start right here and make another angled line right across the branch. And we're going to do the same thing on the other foot. Start right here, angle it down and touch. Start right here, angle it down and touch. We're going to do the same thing on our other birds. We have two legs, so we're going to make one leg come all the way down. And another leg come all the way down. And then we're going to make its toes. One, two. Same thing on the other one. One, two. And then we're going to do the same thing on this other bird. One leg, two legs. And then we go one, two. One, two. Now we have three birds with their legs and they're sitting with their feet on the branch. Great job with your birds.